Hello Hearts of Iron 4 players, my name is Vanadium and welcome to a tutorial on how to download the GitHub version of the Hearts of Iron 4 mod and a new beginning. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, basically our team uh, does not upload frequent updates to the Steam Workshop. Uh, uh, we like to polish updates and wait until we finalize all the features and then push it push our content to you guys onto the Steam Workshop in large and uh, sorted and finished patches, po finished polished patches. Um, similar to how Paradox does it um, once every few months, maybe up to half a year. Um, and I'm recording this, it's actually been five months. Um, I'm recording this in November, so it's been, it's been five months since we last updated on Steam. But of course we do actually uh, develop almost daily. Um, and to that, uh, if you want to access our development, you go down here to see updates and then you click our GitHub page link. And this is our GitHub page link right here. Um, and here we're going to be now going over how to install it. Um, so first we're going to actually um, download the GitHub program, which is found here on desktop.github.com. Um, here's um, And here's the button to click it uh, to download, depending on your operating system. Uh, that should also be in the description below. Hopefully I remember to do that. Um, and while you're doing that, uh, downloading that, we will we'll then go to your PC here. And we're going to go to, and we're going to be trying to find the Hearts of Iron 4 mod folder. And that we're gonna, uh, by default, it's in your documents, Paradox Interactive, and Hearts of Iron 4. And finally, right here, you should say mod. Um, if you have never downloaded a mod before, um, at all, uh, that this file might not appear. Um, if you do that, you just need to create a new file, new folder, apologies, and then type in mod, all lowercase. Um, but we already have it, so it's telling us no, you can't do, you can't have two of the same file. And finally, we can go in here, and this is where all your mods are stored, um, at least where the game accesses it. And we're gonna create a new f uh, file, a folder here again for a new beginning to be stored in. So we're gonna just call it this. You don't have to copy me, but it's just easy to do it. All lowercase, actually we can do all caps. Um, and a new beginning, I'm gonna do that. And then this, so this is gonna be where GitHub is gonna store the files. Um, so once you have uh, that's done, um, and you boot up GitHub Desktop after installing it. It will probably prompt you uh, to log in or create an account with GitHub. Just do that. It's pretty easy. Um, and afterwards, you finally get to this page that says, "Let's get started." Add a repository to GitHub Desktop to start collaborating. Um, what you want to do is uh, you might not have this because if you're a new GitHub user, which is these are just the code that you have access to or have downloaded already. Um, and in this case, we're going to go click here, clone a repository from the internet. Um, and we're going to go back to this page. And you see here, it says, uh, you see this right here? This is actually what we're going to be typing in. Um, you want to type in team-eoanb, all cap, all lowercase, my bad. And then slash, and then finally, the cap uh, in this part, uh, we want uh, the enb to be capitalized. So slash capital E O A N B, and we're gonna actually then look a path. We're gonna choose the mod file we want to download in, and again, it's gonna be in your documents, um, not doc, uh, documents, Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron Four, uh, mod. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my Mac decided just to unplug itself. I don't understand. Um, and then install here, and then click here, and select folder, and then we're going to clone. Finally, once you are done downloading, you should get a screen that looks like this, and it should say on the top left, so like current repository, E L A N B, uh, current branch master, and fetch origin. Um, it might say never fetched for you. Um, if that if so that's okay nothing's different um and what you want to do is click here on current branch and these are our different versions that we have stored on github um master is our steam update so if you if you're keeping this on master you've done absolutely nothing 
um, for yourself because you could just be using Steam. Um, instead, what you want to do, you want to be click, scroll down to the other branches and you actually want to go look for something that's called experimental. It might also be on your screen called origin slash experimental. It depends. Um, uh, but if you do so, it should be the latest. Uh, it should. This is over here is how long ago this version was released. Um, and experimental is an hour ago. So that's obviously the newest patch. So we're going to click on that. And it's going to uh, change you to the correct version, experimental version. And then we're going to click here and click update. Uh, fetch origin is basically your update button. Um, so what? So this is right here, a easy button for you to update the uh, mod. Um, we update daily. So if you want to just click this, you can get the latest version real quick. Um, a, a small caveat, um, because our this is the experimental version where we experiment with our content and such, we uh, we cannot guarantee between our updates patches that they are save compatible. So, just a small uh, detail: uh, do not uh, if you want to make sure that your game stays compatible with the saves, do not click this unless you're sure 100% that you're done with your campaign and you want to start a new campaign or something like that. So um, that's just, just in case. Um, so there you go. Um, OK, and now we're going to be going here to our mod file. Um, our mod file again, um, Documents, Paradox, Interactive, Hearts of Iron for mod. And we go into in a new beginning, and then it actually says end new begin again. And finally, we're gonna see go here until you see toy.mod right here. Um, in, we're gonna copy this, copy it, and then we go back here until you go back to the mod where you got your end of new beginning and maybe other mods which might call themselves UGC some number.mod. And we're gonna go paste here and we're gonna get toy.mod right here. You're gonna open this uh, with Notepad. Um, you can right click and then you click open with and then you might have a notepad. Um, if not, you can click that and then something, some simple editor that is a text editor. Um, not like something like Microsoft Word or anything that, that actually adds um, uh, that you can bold. If, if that program can bold things, then that is not the right program. But something, a simple text editor like notepad works perfectly fine. Um, and here you can see the text is like this with its name and the beginning development. And you can actually want to go to the second line here. It says path equals mod slash toy. And you're going to actually put in mod. Gonna, let's do this from start mod slash. And then you can go here. You see the name and the beginning here on caps end of new beginning slash. And you can go in this file, right? And it says end new beginning again. But this time it's just E. Um, again, you copy this. Uh, this name, if you don't, um, right? And then slash, and then toy again. There we go. And then toy. So it's going to access this file. You click save. Click save, and you get close. And then we go check again. Toy. Uh, not that one. <laughs> toy. Mod. And there we go. So it should be like this. That looks correct. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, sorry, my mic decided to die for a second. Okay, and that should be it. So now we're gonna go to our Steam library, and we're gonna go try to open up Hearts Iron Four. We click mod. We're gonna click mods. Um, and here, and we're going to actually just here do this. So then we can start from scratch. I should probably do that. So mods. So we're going to create a new playset, add a new playset, right? And new beginning. Create. Add mods. And hopefully right here, you see something that says end of new beginning development right here. And depends on what version, but right now it's 710 
megabytes. If it's less than that, you're probably in the wrong version because I doubt our mods gonna get any smaller from here on. <laughs> and then click here, add to playset. Okay, and then done. And make sure you switch your playset to the correct playset and then you click play. And that should be it. Let's see if this game is happy with what we did. Okay, looks good. Okay. There we go. If you have any more questions, um, join the Discord description down below. We are active, have the active the development team is heavily active on the server, so uh, we are very friendly. And as long as you don't ask a que uh, question that was literally asked like two minutes ago in the chat, you should be fine. <laughs> Thank you for watching, um, and enjoy the mod. Thank you.